Alright, so we're changing the filter. We're changing the oil. We drop the oil it's right here in the oil pan. We're changing the fuel filters on the dually. 6.0. Uh, there's the, uh, the drain. You drain the pump first. And right behind it is that. You'll need that big socket. <laughs> got mine new. Sometimes they don't want to come off. But I don't tighten mine so crazy. See, you got water in there. See the brown smut? That's water. I've been getting a little like stutter and low RPMs and come to the conclusion that it's water in the fuel the truck usually tells me but it didn't tell me this time so let's see what this filter looks like when I get it out of here okay more fuel coming out. Whoop, back here on my new floor. All right. Here's a new filter. Only use motorcraft filters for this vehicle. Only motorcraft. All right, Denny? Yeah. Only motorcraft. It's a little tough getting out. I'll show you the socket when I get it down. Just take it out. You want to come out through the back? Yeah. He wants to come out through the back here. Bring it out through the back. Yeah, I'm on my back too because I got to get the right adapters for this uh, truck to be able to lift it up. By the time I get it out of here, the filter's going to be filthy. Socket. Need a big nut. That's the socket you'll need. So, uh, it's pretty clean. Danny, hey. just uh, shoot this clean for me. Huh? Shoot this clean for me. Yeah. Do it over that. Yep. Brake cleaner. Yeah, hey, there's a new filter. You can pop it in there you for me. No, hey. What's that other one for? The one in front. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's okay, that should be dirty. Yeah. The diesel sinks into the uh, concrete. Yeah. Whew. All right, another thing we're gonna put on here is, ah. Uh, I tried lifting the truck and I gotta get special adapters, so that's why I'm on the ground here. We're gonna pull out that plug right there so we could put a special adapter in to read the coolant from the actual engine and not from on top show you where I've been reading it from and when I put the SCT on it's usually 10 to 20 degrees cooler and I'm thinking the truck is overheating Danny's doing a filter on top this is the filter we use because the other one's too expensive and he's gonna do the antifreeze filter this is the one we use the Wix from Napa 
Uh, yeah. Here. Glow shift. It's not reading properly. So I got the adapter from Glow shift because they realized they made a mistake. It's not reading the right temperature up there. So they sent me this. An adapter to go in there. And their sensor goes in there. Send your instructions, who needs that? Not me, not today. So let me do that. Let me go clean one of these things out. Uh, we have one here that says antifreeze only. Okay. So I gotta clean this first. Doesn't sound like it has anything in it, which I'm glad about. This is my daughter with the race cars. She would have had some uh, other green antifreeze in there. Oh, look at this. I had oil in it. It says antifreeze only. It has oil in it, Danny. It says antifreeze only and it has oil in it. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to have to go rinse this out. It on the fly. See, I got antifreeze all over the floor. But there it is. It's in there. Just gonna run the wires from up there down. And Danny's got the filter. Where's the filter? The filter. Oh, I uh, oh, got the filter. And I hit to a socket. The socket and the cap. So we're up here. Let me get that in there. Oh, it's right there. I could have grabbed that. All right. See, put a new ring on it. Up here. Comes with a ring there. Now I got to try to get it up here. Through all this crap. Make that. There you go. Get up in there. There you go. You got to push on it. It's got a spring in there to get it going. So I'd like to do it from back here. Or here. Where is it? Just, once you get it going, then... Why is it going and stopping? I don't understand. <clears throat> yeah, it's going then stopping. <sighs> no, the uh, fuel filter. Make sure there's nothing. did that before. It's going, spinning in, and then stopping. What is, what is it doing now? Never had this do this to me before. I'll be back. Alright, it's a little wrestling. I have to get it in there. It's in there now. Push all this out. 
clean all this antifreeze. Whoa. I'm put this. We have those fittings that uh, the plug that came from the block. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'll show you what we did on top here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? I don't know where they are. See, we put a plug in there. To cap that. Now those wires gotta go down. Gotta run these wires down there. It should be long enough. But they came from down there. So what? Funnel? Yeah. Oh. I'm supposed to know where my funnels are, right? Awkward first? Yeah. Is it clean? Yeah, clean it out, filthy. Alright, so use this here's the oil filter the other fuel filter look how black that oil filter is Whew. yeah so these wires gotta go down Danny they're here and they came from down there so they should be able to just go right down there there they go alrighty It's easy that I'm here. Alright. Okay. Now I'm gonna go down there and connect these to the new sensor location. Make sure you underneath the steering box and everything. Okay. Going back in. I'll be back. There you have it. We hooked up. And we'll uh, just zip tie this to this. Give me a small zip tie. Where you got them at? They're in the. Uh, yeah, down, down under the down mall. Right up, right there. Yeah. The next one down. I'll zip tie that to there. Alright, so Danny has new filters in there. Where's the oil one? Oh, the oil one is there. Got everything open. Let me top off the uh, antifreeze. Just putting the oil in now. It's the best oil for the price. Instead of having to use AMS oil, that's what I put. Full synthetic. Because AMS oil is getting way too expensive. Let's see what I got in these things here. Should have enough to top it off. And the radiator is leaking, but we can't find the leak right now. It's a small leak. Show them what we're using there. Don't ever do an oil change without that. Friction modifier. Watch oil. You won't regret it. When you start your truck in the morning, in the winter, it'll, it'll start and sound like it's warm. Injector problem still. Gotta clean my truck out. 
All right, so we, we didn't get to use the new tool. We had to use the old stuff. I'll put all this old oil and everything back in these and take it down to the county and let you put it in there. All right, give Danny a minute, we'll give it a cycle and we'll start it up. Ugh. There's that water and that gunk it was in there. We gotta change the filters. I do it every year. Yeah, I'm gonna rotate these two front tires too. They're, they're starting to cup, Danny. Yeah. So I'm gonna put them on the other side. This thing helping or what, man? I don't feel like it's doing a damn thing. You gotta put it like this, maybe. Look, lean it back a little bit. Blow the heat out, right? Yeah. How many you put in so far? Two. I'll start putting the other stuff in here. Yeah, yeah. Let's cycle the fuel pump first. Our 6.0. I'm gonna weld on the, uh, the thing for there. Broke off the muffler. This one should be good, I think. Yeah. Shock out of it. Oh, I forget. Run it over and crush it. Woo! Bad boy stink. There it goes. TIG me machine here. So the rims are cracked. She'll weld them and she'll grind them. Okay, she'll weld them up and she'll grind them smooth. How you doing? Harbor Freight machine, guys. Go down there. Mention my name, you get a discount. Bring it back when she's all grinded down. All right, there's the finished product. Put a little black paint on it. How you doing? Two thousand. Like, right, thanks for watching.